one of my favorite insects. Rescued her out of the water. I believe it's called an emerald jeweled uh, dragonfly. I could be wrong. I look them up all the time because I'm always trying to capture them on film. But, uh, but they fly away before I have a chance to get close enough to capture them on camera. But yeah, no, that's a real tree. I love it. Look at that. Pick my face. Probably because I rescued it up out of the water with my paddle, set it on the set it on the bow, and then uh, it tried to fly off, and I was like, no, 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 you're gonna fall back in the water because her wing is damaged. But I don't know if she's actually lived out her life cycle or not. But it's all good. She can hang out with me. Let's turn on the light. keep getting stuck underwater debris because I'm not paying attention. I'm too too distracted with my new little friend here. Right there. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Alright. Well. Yeah, they're all looking for me. Oh, come on now. Get off this log. Fantastic little creek. And sometimes that's what how it is. You know, you got these great big rivers and they got these little tributaries that run through it. And sometimes those are the more spectacular uh, journeys. I guess the uh, what do they say, the road less traveled. It's really awesome through here. Look at this cute little baby gator right here. That's so cool. He's only right there. 21st said that he uh not spooked by human activity because he's never seen people before. There's a good chance because this creek is so narrow and so full of deadfall that I don't think a whole lot of people come back through here. So this little alligator right here is very chill. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. We'll leave them on. It's hilarious. It was sitting there like this. Are you serious? Yeah, doing a, wagon doing a serpentine? <laughs> <laughs> 
Cool. Are we going in here? Oh, okay. By these trees here and uh, stretch my legs. Gotta be careful where you grab though because whoa, got to uh, make sure we're not grabbing poison ivy vine like this. Let's see? All right, gently step out. All right, we're good. It's a cool little uh, 21st, and everybody else is just right over there, at the mouth of this little tributary here. I just pulled in here just for fun. Let me check it out for a minute. It's interesting through here. This creek, I think, is spring fed because it smells like it. Let me get this thing off. Oh, it's nice back here. It's thick. There's uh, May. Practically full summer already. This log right here was blocking my path so I couldn't paddle any further. I'll go check this out and see what they got back here. I've never seen so much poison ivy in my life. There's so much of it out here, it's insane. I see it running up almost every single tree in here. You can see the vines, one growing right here. It's probably one growing right behind me here. Yeah, this, this right here, this fuzzy vine right here is poison ivy. I'm gonna be itchy all over watch. Well, I better catch up with the party because they're gonna, they're gonna paddle on without me. I know that once we get out to the St. John's, we're paddling south and uh, to look for those Indian mounts he sees on the map. So I thought we were gonna find some way up in here on, all along these uh, tributaries and stuff, but I was wrong. But it's okay. I have, I'm having a great time and it's, uh, it's just a fantastic day. Gorgeous weather, but uh, back here I haven't seen any mounds or anything it's mostly swamp in fact all day long today it's been mostly swamp so um, it's cool I'm, I'm all right with that but uh it's not a whole lot of places that you can just stop and get out of the boat so that when I spotted this area I wanted to get out and just stretch my legs for a minute and you know so because uh, after a while man your butt just goes numb all right let's carry on down the river Catch up with these guys.
getting noisy up here. Getting close to the St. John's. All I hear is uh, speed boats and jet skis and stuff. It's getting really close. It's also uh, wide open and the wind's been coming out of the east. So, oh, here we go. We got some jet skis on the way here. Oh, they slowed down. That's good. They hit you with that, that sprayer on the back. Doing all right? Nice day, eh? Yeah. coming my direction as soon as he came around the corner he saw me and then he saw those jet skis and he figured uh i'm not gonna be able to go through here quickly so i'm gonna turn around and go back the other way which isn't really a good idea i think that's a jet boat so he doesn't have a doesn't have a prop underneath like a lower unit he's got to worry about but there's a lot of logs and stuff through here a lot of deadfall underneath the water you can't even see so but he seemed like he was uh not interested in coming down this direction anyway and for a boat like that it, it got really narrow back there so it wouldn't be any fun for him but that, that that's a, like a jet boat or something and those things are designed to just go fast and this this little this little creek is not for going fast got back there and they could see that they couldn't haul tail and they turned around and headed back but that first one that came by he still had quite a wake on him and it splashed up over the back of my boat and up into my side right here it got me all wet I don't know how much water got in the boat from that but it's usually usually not that good not that good especially when you go <laughs> go in the back and you know, all your gear is soaked I'm pretty good at keeping myself dry from all that but sometimes you just can't help it Man, that wind, as soon as I got out here in the open, here in the St. John's, that wind is smacking me in the face. And I've been battling that wind all, all last week, trying to wrap cars in that stuff. Man, I was kind of afraid that it was gonna be really windy out here today. Out in the open, yeah, it's, the water's pretty rough. So hopefully by this evening, it'll die down a little bit. And, but that's, that's considered pretty much open water out there, and that's not good. Especially, uh, especially with that wind the way it is. 